All right, so I know you were expecting to go through user registration and authentication today. However, I do want to take the modularization of our app into Blueprints a step further. So I was going to save this for a video down the road, but I think it's necessary that we go ahead and finish this up now. So let's start by looking at our current app structure. I'd go ahead and pause the video and just take a look at the structure and make sure that the structure matches what you have locally. So today, we're going to move the majority of our app's functionality into the project directory and create a new blueprint called Home to store our app's main functionality, which currently is everything that's not part of the user's blueprint. So let's get to it. Okay, so we want to start by creating a Home directory in the project directory, and this is what's going to hold our Home blueprint. Make directory home, and then add a templates directory within that home blueprint. We also want to add an abuse.py file as well as an under under init file. So touch abuse.py and then the under under init file. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and move the current static and templates folders into the project directory along with the models.py file. So let me cd back out. So we can move static to the project directory and move the templates to the project directory as well and the models.py file. And then let's go ahead and move the index.html and welcome.html files into the templates folder within the home blueprint. So let me cd into the templates folder, move index.html. That's going to go into the templates blueprint. Or I'm sorry, that's going to go into the home blueprint within the templates folder. And we can do the same thing for the welcome.html file. And you can see that here. So home templates index.html welcome.html. Cool. So now for our app.py file, we want to go ahead and break this apart. So let's start by creating a new file called run.py. And this is going to hold the code for running our application. So from project, import the app and paste that in. Don't forget to remove this. And next, let's go ahead and move the configuration setting, our app's configuration settings here, into the under under init file within the project directory. So let me copy this, open up the project directory. Here's our file here. Go ahead and paste that. So let's take out the imports we don't need. And the only import we need is Flask. We also don't need this import here, and then we need a space there. All right. So let's close or clear this out. We don't need the flask import. And this out. And let's take this remaining code and we can move it into our views.py file within the home template. Or I'm sorry, the home blueprint. And it looks like we need to add some imports here. So from project, we'll import our app. And then we also need to grab the 
blog post from our model. So from from project dot models, and then we can import the blog post. And we also need DB. Okay, and now we can remove that app.py file. Let's remove app.py. Okay, so let's take a look at our new structure now. So again, I would pause the video, take a minute to look this over. So our application is much more modular now. And keep in mind that we are still sharing the base.html templates. The template is right there as well as our static files, these bootstrap files here, across all of the blueprints. And that also includes our models.py file, which I will talk about in a minute. Okay, so back to Sublime here. Okay, so next I want to move the bcrypt functionality out of the user's blueprint. And I know I stressed last time that this is user registration functionality and so it should go into the user's blueprint however it really just affects the model so down the road we will have separate models for each blueprint and when that happens bcrypt will reside in the model within the user's blueprint for now though since we have one model for the entire app we should keep the bcrypt functionality in that model so let's first add bcrypt to our under under init file within the project directory. So from flask bcrypt, I want to import bcrypt. And then bcrypt. Let's pass in our app there. And also make sure to remove bcrypt from the views.py file in our users blueprint. So users, views.py, go ahead and remove that. Then we can also remove this app import here as well. And then we just need to add the import to the models.py file. Actually, we can just up, we just need to update it. So from project, and then we import bcrypt. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and update this import too. This is going to be from project import db. Okay, so that's it for bcrypt. So now let's go ahead and work on our home blueprint. We need to get that set up. So let's start by registering the blueprint. Close all this out here. We can register the blueprint within our under under init file within the project directory. So we can copy this line, paste it. So from project dot home dot views, and we'll just call this home blueprint. And we can do the same here. So app dot register underscore blueprint. We'll call it. And pass in home blueprints there. Okay, so now let's create the blueprints within our views. And I'm going to copy what we have here within our user's blueprint just to save some time. So if I open up our blueprint within the home directory, I mean the, the home blueprint. I'm going to call this home blueprint. Change the name here to home. We need to import in the blueprints. And we need a space at the end there. Okay. Okay, so that's all we need to do to get our blueprint set up. So let's try sanity check and let's see what happens when we run our application. So 
So we can go and activate our virtual environment. And now if we run python manage.py run server, see what happens. And as expected, we got an import error. Now since we restructured our app, we need to update a number of imports. And we can find these by running the app, looking at the error, and fixing the error, and then running the app again. And then we simply just repeat this process until the app actually runs. So it looks like the first issue is actually going to affect our manage.py file. I know we don't have the imports set up correctly there. So let's go ahead and open that up. And so we can change this to from project, import app, and then import DB. So let's see what happens when we run this again. Cool, server is running. And let's go ahead and test this out within the browser. Okay, let's try and log in. Okay, so now we are getting a routing error. Okay, so what happens when we log in? We need to be redirected to the home blueprint. So if we open back up our views.py within users, we need to be redirected to, oh, this is for the logout. We actually need to be red redirected to home.welcome on the logout, which you can see here. So this is within the home blueprint, and there's our view function called welcome. And then on the login, we need to be redirect, redir, redirected to the home blueprint and to the home view function. So let's try that again. Okay, it looks like it worked. Let's try logging out. Let's just make sure one more time that it's working. Awesome. All right, how about we try running the test just to be sure everything is working here. So Python test.py. Okay, we need to update the imports for our tests. Test.py. So this should be project. And I know we're going to have a problem with DB create and DB create users. Even though we're not going to be using those right now, let's go ahead and update these. So this is from project import db, and then also this is from project.models, and same thing here, so import project, or from project import db. And I know this is commented out, but let's go ahead and update that as well. Okay, and if we test this again, Cool, we got one failure, and that is an expected failure. Okay, so everything is running fine locally, so now let's go ahead and get this going on Heroku. So let me close out some of these here. I'll just close them all out. So if we look at our proc file, we actually need to update this. So let's see what we have here. So we can update this, I believe, to run an app. And so if we go ahead and commit our code now, so git add, git commit. So let's say refactored in the blueprints. Again. And then if we do git push Heroku master, cool. Now let's try Heroku open. Let's see if this thing works. Okay, let's try and log in. Perfect. Cool, looks like everything's working on Heroku as well. All right, so that's it for today. Nothing really new today, I guess uh, just some housekeeping. So next time we should be adding on proper user authentication to our application. 
and I will see you then. Thanks.